Welcome to Knicks.com. Jonah Ballo here with assistant coach Brian Keefe. Uh, Brian, matchup is the Toronto Raptors, a team that got off to a 5-0 start. They've lost their last two. Uh, pretty strong team still there ahead at the Atlantic Division. What have you seen out of this club so far? Uh, they got a deep team, deep roster. They've added uh, you know, a couple guys through from the championship level teams. that They were coming from San Antonio, from Land, Damari, Carroll, and Corey Joseph. A lot of returners, but they're a team that attacks. It seems like it's a free throw line and they're their defense has really stepped up this year, early in the season. Doesn't it always start with Kyle Lowry, though? I mean, he's he looks in terrific shape this year. Already got off to that really good start. He's kind of the guy that makes them go, don't you think? Uh, yeah, no question. Um, you know, his penetration, his ability to get to the basket, his ability to find his teammates and himself in attack mode. It's uh, he's a load. And we'll have to be prepared to defend him tomorrow. Not only him, Demar Derozan as well. Guard play always tough in this league defensively. What do you tell your guards about defending those two? Uh, just try to do our best job, keep them in front of them, try to keep them off the free throw line. Obviously, uh, DeRozan shoots a high volume of free throws. Um, and, you know, it's our team efforts, not just our guards. We have to, we have to guard five guys, five guys on the string and get it done as a team. Valen Shunis there in the, in the middle spot. We talked to uh, Chris Stapps earlier about guarding him. He's excited about that international matchup as he's watched him for several years. How difficult is, is that matchup in terms of not only Chris Stapps be on him, you know, a couple times, but as well as Robin Lopez? Well, I think he's a guy who's steadily improved each year. Um, he's, you know, he's a guy who can be a tough to handle on the block and, you know, his turnaround, a little jump shot from about 15 feet. So he's, he's tough. Um, we'll all have to be prepared to defend him. You know, with Chris Stapps on the floor, some of the numbers, and I know it's early and small sample size, but some of the defensive numbers for this Knicks team have been through the roof in terms of playing really well together. What does he do for you guys defensively when he's there in the lineup? Uh, length. Yeah. That's a pretty obvious <laughs> yeah. answer there, but he's he's a tall guy. He's learning how to use his length. Him and Robin together are pretty tall guys who can kind of cover the basket and take away some easy shots. Um, his shot blocking ability, and I think it's this overall activity it has helped us. With Jose last night, a very nice bounce back sort of game for him, and obviously he'll be going back to Toronto where he used to play. Uh, in terms of the guard play there with Aaron potentially out for uh, at least maybe Tuesday, maybe he'll be back Wednesday, but those two guards in the starting lineup, what do they have to do to be successful and make sure that that unit gets out to a good start? Uh, it's what they've been doing all year. I think they've actually that's been a contributor to our defense is they've been into the ball, pressuring the ball, contesting shots, not fouling it. You know, I think our defense from our guards has been pretty good, but each night is a challenge and for the NBA, for the guards, and again, it's a total team effort, though, too. What did you like out of the team uh, you know, against the Lakers? They were down and found a way to really rally down the stretch, make a big run, some big plays. Obviously, Langston, who's been playing excellent basketball of late, hits the big three there. What did you see out of the team that maybe can carry over to this road trip? Well, I think a big word is the resiliency that you know we weren't playing probably as well as we would have liked. Um, we were down a little bit, but we made some plays. An offensive rebound by Robin. To, I think that led to Langston's three. Um, some, some tough defensive boards, some good communication on defense that force them into some, some tough shots. Uh, it's a collective thing. It's a team thing, and I think that team showed good resilience yesterday. All right, we're off to Toronto. Thank you so much for your insight. Appreciate Thanks, it. guys. There he is, assistant coach Brian Keefe, right here on this.com.